Andrea Trowski here. So I've been a dental professional since 2005. So I have cleaned my fair share of teeth. I have cleaned many, many people. And now I have my own mobile dental hygiene practice. And I see this in my own practice too. So you might be wondering, so why do I know somebody who has super nice teeth, but they hardly brush, they don't use mouthwash, they, they get their teeth cleaned every couple years, but they don't have cavities. And then you might know somebody else who goes to their dentist and sees their dental hygienist for teeth cleanings every three months. They brush twice a day, they do everything they're supposed to do, but they still get cavities. How is that fair? And how does that work? So that's not always the case, but um, think about it this way. The best thing to do for your teeth is to eat well, like try to limit sugars because any sugars, um, any sugar in the teeth can easily cause cavities, unfortunately. But then you also have to think, well, you should be brushing twice a day because if you're brushing twice a day, that means you are cleaning your teeth to get that plaque off. If you're not brushing, then that plaque stays on the teeth. And what is plaque? Plaque is bacteria and bacteria can start to eat through the tooth, causing thin enamel, causing cavities and causing pain, right? So not not very good things there. Um, and you also need to floss. So floss every day, because if you don't, then that plaque and tartar can stay in between the teeth. I personally like to use the water flosser, which I can leave a link for you guys down below here. I purchased mine from Amazon. It's not expensive, um, dep depending on if there's a sale, but maybe 30 to $40. Um, and I use that to clean in, in between my teeth, use a mouthwash, Again, limit sugars if you can, and you're fine. Like these are what we like to see. But going back to what I was saying before, you might know somebody like that, but then every time they get their teeth checked, they have a cavity. Why is that? Some people just have more of that bad bacteria in your mouth. We have good bacteria and we have bad, bacter um, bad bacteria. Even our saliva can either help us or it can hinder us. So if somebody doesn't brush very well, they're not eating right, you know, they eat a lot of sugar, but they never get cavities. It could be because they have very healthy saliva. They are very lucky. Their saliva in their mouth is constantly cleansing their mouth to rid away from any cavities. Or if somebody gets a cavity every time they turn around, it could be because they have more of that bad bacteria. So that saliva is literally eating through their teeth. Now, I tell people who have more of that bad bacteria bacteria, the best thing to do is to get a really good toothpaste, a good toothpaste that is going to protect the teeth. And you will notice you're getting less cavities. Your dentist and your dental hygienist are going to be happier with you because there's less plaque, less tartar. A good toothpaste, you guys, can go a long way. You want a toothpaste with sodium fluoride. That is going to help to protect the teeth. If you want to take it a step further, then you want xylitol as well. What's, what what um, xylitol does is that helps to help the pH in your mouth not be as acidic. If your pH is too acidic, you have more bad bacteria, the saliva is not really working for you. Um, but with the right toothpaste, with xylitol and sodium fluoride in there, it can just make the mouth healthier. If your mouth is healthier, your teeth are going to be healthier too. So definitely try that. If you know somebody or, or if you're that person who gets cavities all the time, you try so hard, but your teeth just aren't the way you want them to be because there always seems to be issues with them. You could just be lucky if you brush every couple days, you have no cavities, you eat a lot of sugar, you could just be lucky, trust me. But things can always turn around. You might be lucky now, but then in two years, you're getting cavities everywhere and you're going to wonder why. So that's just a little kind of recap for you guys on what can happen. There's good bacteria in the mouth. There's bad bacteria. Some of us are just lucky. Um, some of us brush, do everything we can, but we still get cavities. Some of us do nothing. And I mean, I see it too. As a mobile dental hygienist, I see clients where I actually tell them, like, your mouth looks pretty good. And then they tell me, oh, I'm surprised because I brush maybe every other day. And I'm thinking, really? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. They just have a very healthy mouth. Um, 
good saliva. But then I have other patients who work so hard, I need to clean their teeth every three months because there's so much plaque there. There's so much tartar there, but they brush twice a day. They do everything they can, but switching them to a, to a proper toothpaste makes a big, big difference. It helps to protect their teeth. If their teeth are protected, it means less plaque, less tartar, a happier hygienist, a happier patient, everybody's happy. So I hope this video helps you guys. Let me know if any questions, feel free to comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.